To my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here it has been a hot second since i have picked up my camera in any form but especially to vlog so i am back and i'm going to start trying posting regularly again but it just has been a little bit of a break but we're back so today i thought what better way to come back than to bring you guys my new summer morning routine and kind of do like vlog style and take you guys throughout my morning with me and just show you guys kind of what i've been doing lately and what routine i'm in and then also kind of what i get up to this morning so i thought it'd be a fun way to kind of restart get back in the swing of things so here we are i woke up at i think it was like 6 45 because some of my family woke me up usually I wake up around like 7 7 30 ish but i've been loving going on walks in the morning so i'm gonna do that this morning because it is a beautiful day here the sun is shining after like two or three weeks of just pouring rain if you guys live in new england you guys know the weather has been horrible this summer so the sun is finally shining i think that's another reason why i've been like super uninspired to do anything it's just because it's been so so hard with the weather but the whole next week looks sunny so i'm hoping things are looking up for the rest of the summer but we'll see what happens with that but i just think right now i'm gonna go for my walk i'm gonna show you guys my exercise set that i'm wearing because i've been loving it from amazon and it's like under 30 dollars so everyone needs it but i'm gonna show you guys that and then head out for my walk but if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe down below and also follow me on instagram which i'll link down below for you as well I thought we would just jump right into this video because it's the morning and we're doing a morning routine video and kind of just take it away for the rest of the day okay so here is the workouts that i was talking about um i'll leave a link to this below for you guys so you guys can shop it um it comes in a ton of other colors and i'm gonna pick up a few there's like a cool orange that it comes in but it is just like the best material it's a seamless material that is so thick and like so supportive it's not see-through i've had a lot of questions of if it's see-through or not on like instagram and it is not see-through i do have to kind of be like in the mood to wear it though because it is like a little bit more revealing just because it is white and i feel like you can like see everything um that was my stomach if you guys just heard that but i'm also freshly fake tan that's why i'm like so orange on the camera right now i need to wash it off still i just haven't had time to and i thought i would just go for my walk and then wash it off which might be a little bit bold wearing this white workout set but i slept in it last night in like my white bed and nothing came off like nothing so i was very impressed by that i'm trying out a new brand which i'll tell you guys about later but yeah here's the set it is so comfortable and so supportive so i've been loving this and then it is a little bit cooler because it's still so early. So I'm just going to throw on an Aritzia zip up over it and then head out. So I just got back from my walk and then showered and washed off my tan. So I look a lot more normal now and a lot less orange. So that is where we're at right now. And I just threw on this little bar hoodie from Bridget's brand, The Bar. I'm so obsessed with the sweatshirt and I got my hands on it a couple weeks ago. I put myself on the wait list for it and then bought it. So if anyone's been thinking about it, it's for sure worth it. I had a lot of people ask me if I like it and if they think it's worth it. So I do. I love it. I wear it like every single day. And I want to get the black one because I find black is a lot easier to wear than white because I stain everything. So I have to wash it like every single time I wear it. But so I'll be surprised if we make it through the day without it being stained. But I thought I would just do some skincare with you guys since I'm out of the shower and I'm all fresh faced now after washing off my tan. So to be honest, my skincare is not anything crazy because I have extremely sensitive skin. Like anything I use breaks me out like crazy or just gives me like a rash on my face. So I keep it to like the same products and don't really switch it up that often. If I'm scent products, I'll try them, but I'm honestly pretty nervous to try them because I do get rashes on my face like so often, like red bumps all around here. So I try to keep it the same. I'll, I will mix in new things, but normally one at a time, just so I know what it is that's kind of making me break out. So the thing I'm using first is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I love this stuff and it's so hydrating on your skin and it has like this little dropper bottle that you just squeeze into your hand but i also have really dry skin because i use a prescription strength acne spot treatment so i find that when i'm using that my skin gets so so dry especially during the summer when i'm in the sun my face has been like peeling off a lot lately which i don't love because i'm just so dry and it's so hard to apply makeup to dry skin it's like so easy to cover a pimple but then when you have dry skin it is just so so hard to cover it up and you just look like a snake like peeling off so i if you have dry skin i feel you i love this stuff i usually apply when my face is still a little bit wet because it soaks in a little bit better but obviously because i was filming this my face is pretty dry at this point 
but I just rub that in all over my face and then take it down my neck and kind of press it into the skin on my neck. And then next I go in with my Elta MD AM Therapy. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you guys know that I love this stuff and I've used it for, I think a year now, honestly. I think I bought it last summer when like Maggie McDonald was using this stuff and I tried it out. This one is non-comedogenic. I think that's how you say it. So there's no pore clogging ingredients in this. So that's also something I look at when I buy skincare is just how many pore clogging ingredients does it have in it. So like, am I going to clog my pores before I even purchase it? So this again, I just rub everywhere. Um, it's really hydrating. I know it says AM therapy, but I use it both morning and night because the nighttime one has different ingredients in it and I just didn't want to mess around with those. So I just use the morning. Um, and yeah, just to hydrate my face. And then lastly, I go in, once my lotion has dried a little bit, I go in with the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. This stuff is SPF 40. And especially during the summer, um, I love to use an SPF every single day just because I am in the sun. I live on the coast, so I'm always near the water, near the ocean. And the sun is so harsh when it like reflects off and hits your face. So I want to protect my skin and look youthful into my 40s and 50s. So I use sunscreen almost every single day. This is the unseen sunscreen. I have the glow screen, but again, the glow screen gave me a rash, so I no longer use that one. But I did really, really like that one and how it kind of like gave you like a little bit of a base for your makeup, more so than this one did. This one has no coverage. It's just like a sheer matte, if you guys can see it. Um, it's like a little matte, almost like a makeup primer. So this is really nice to put on before makeup or just to head out the door. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put on makeup now or later. It's 8.45, so I honestly think I think I'm gonna let my skin breathe for a little bit. I think I'm just gonna like gel my eyebrows into place and then go pick up a coffee. I think I'm gonna go, I don't feel like making coffee myself today, so I think I'm gonna go pick it up from a little coffee shop in my town just because I'm feeling like treating myself to that. But yeah, I will show you guys the eyebrow gel that I use though because I've been loving it. So on days that I'm not wearing makeup or I'm just like running out the door and don't feel like putting makeup on, the things I do do is I usually curl my eyelashes if I don't have a lash lift, which I love getting lash lifts, but right now I don't have one. So if I don't have a lash lift, I just curl my eyelashes and then I gel my eyebrows into place using this NYX brow gel. It's called the Brow Glue. And it just is so good for like slicking your eyebrows up and it almost gives you like a laminated effect But I like how I can control it rather than getting my eyebrows actually laminated Because I think mine would look a little bit crazy if I had them all the way done But so I love using this and then I'll just throw on my Dior. What is this called? The lip glow um, It's just this really cute pink color So it kind of gives like more life to my face when I use it So those are just the three things I'll do before heading out the door if I'm not putting makeup on and then yeah, just hit the road So I'm gonna go do that gel my eyebrows get a little bit more ready and then go grab a coffee for probably myself and then my sister and come back here and do a little bit of work for the day. But that's the plan for right now. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will probably show you guys again in the car once I'm heading out. So I'm back from getting my coffee. Um, I tried to film a little bit, but that coffee shop is actually nuts. And there's so many people in there. Like I didn't even have time to get on my phone because I was so frazzled and flustered over like where to stand and where to order. So that didn't happen, but I am back home now. And right now I think, what time is it? It's 9.30. So I'm going to sit down and respond to some emails that I have and kind of like plan out some of my Instagram content that I have coming up. I have a couple of partnerships that I'm doing that have deadlines that I kind of need to get after and start and finish those because the weather has just been so bad lately and like pouring rain every single day. And also I work, so I have to like work around my work schedule. I'm a nanny. So I have to work around that schedule that I have also. And usually I work mornings, but today I have the morning off and I am working tonight instead. So I'm really gonna try and sit down right now and plan those deadlines and try and figure out like what I wanna take for them, when I wanna post it and things like that just to keep myself on track because it does get a little bit confusing when you have a bunch of deadlines that are coming up and things like that. So I'm gonna do that for a little bit, just respond to some emails that I have, um, plan that out. And then at some point today, I do need to take a photo for this tanning company that I did use. And then I actually have a nail appointment at 12.15 today, which I'm so, so excited. I have these really cute cherry French, if they'll focus, these little cherry French manicure that is so grown out at this point. You can see where like my nails are growing. So I have to go get these taken off and then get new nails. These are my natural nails and I just get gel on top of them. But they do such a good job shaping them and they take good care of your nails too, which I like. They don't just like saw off your nail and like send you on your way. Because I've had places do that before where like they file down my nails so much that my nails are so flimsy. But my nails are so strong right now. That's basically all I have going on today. 
But again, I'm just gonna sit down, work on some emails, and then go down for breakfast in a little bit. But that's where we're at right now, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. We are just having a little avocado toast moment on the back deck. And so I finished all the work that I've had to do this morning, and then I have to get ready in a little bit to go for my nail appointment. So I'm just gonna eat and then get ready, but I'll show you guys my outfit and then I'll show you guys my nails. But I just wanted to check in and update you guys on my breakfast. I usually have avocado toast like every morning. As long as I have ripe avocados, there's really like nothing else that I like eating in the morning unless it's like a bagel. But I try and keep it healthy and eat just the avocado toast and add some fruit in throughout the week also. But my mornings are pretty much the same every day because I do love having a routine and I love doing the same thing every day. So I usually just wake up, go for a walk, eat breakfast. Um, if I have work, I go to work. But on days when I don't, I do like to take it a little bit slower and spend time eating my breakfast outside and enjoying kind of like the downtime that I have so I'm gonna go eat my breakfast um, probably like catch up on Instagram on my phone because I haven't been on my phone a lot this morning and probably going to TikTok for a little bit too because I've been loving TikTok lately but yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now but I will talk to you guys in a little bit so I'm just leaving my nail appointment now um, I just went with this little light pink color, which I always like to do in between like nail art So I don't always have nail art on my hands just because it makes it easier for like taking pictures when I have Projects to do with brands. So I just got this pink neutral color. It's from OPI. The color is called Baby take a vow. I'm pretty sure something take a vow. So I'm sure if you look it up But it's just this really soft pink color and I just have my nails shaped They're kind of almondy but kind of rounded. Um, they're not super almondy but I love having round nails and these again are my natural nails. So, so happy I went and did that. It's super necessary because my nails were so grown out. But it is now almost 2 o'clock. I was in there for almost like 2 hours. But I think I'm going to end this video off now just because my morning is officially over. And that's basically everything I have to show you guys today for my day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I'm so happy to get back into vlogging. And I know I haven't done it in a while. But I'm looking forward to getting back into it. And I can't wait for more videos in the future that I'm doing. But I will see you guys all in my next video.